All right, guys, so before we get started with tonight's video, um, don't forget Kendall Enterprise and Hotshot Haulers hats are still for sale. Uh, just probably got right now about 10 of each still available, 30 bucks shipped. Email me, uh, I'll put my email down in the description below and uh, we can do PayPal or Cash App and I'll get one sent out to you, I'll ship it to your house. Um, second, I am going on a vacation, finally. I am, got one more day, got tomorrow to haul three cars, should be done by lunchtime and then I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation for probably two weeks, on and off or so. We're gonna go up to the lake, so if you want to, you know, keep in touch or stay tuned, check out my personal channel, link in the description. Go follow me on there, subscribe to that channel. I've been trying to put out daily content on that channel, also working on the podcast portion of that, uh, of my brand on that channel as well. So go check that out and just uh, stay tuned here for today's video. Pennsylvania right now. Uh, started in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire today on the way home. Uh, I'll show you the car we got, but we've got a tw another 2020 Mercedes. Mercedes-Benz has been keeping me busy here lately and uh, happy about that. They actually have uh, had two more cars they were trying to have me get for their customers. Yeah, one was a delivery to a customer, one was a dealer trade to bring in to sell to a customer. But I told him I'm going on vacation for the next two weeks, so need some time off. But uh, I'll do a little talking today. This is probably halfway through the video about getting burnt out on the road. Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that say they can drive and drive and drive. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, there's guys that live on the road. They don't even have a house. And uh, for me, it's I, I enjoy being home. There's nothing more I love than, you know, laying on the couch with the dogs at the house, jumping in the pool with the dogs, or just sitting out on the back, you know, on the back deck, you know, with a nice summer day, hanging out with the wife and the dogs. So I, for me, I do get burnt out on the road. This week, these last three weeks have been extremely go, 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 go. I've been, I've done 10,000, when I get home, it'll be 10,000 miles in three weeks. So, it's, and, but that's why, I, the reason I work this way, A, I'm busy, uh, I'm trying to grow the company, and as much as I don't want to hire somebody, it's going to be coming to the point where I need to, just because these, you know, these contracts with these, with these dealerships are pretty much constant work and I don't want to say no to the point where they just go find somebody else so I may be looking for somebody in the in an over the road position um, and I'm not going to put you out there three weeks at a time at home one week like you know hot shot companies do to people or trucking companies do to people um, it'll probably be like uh, gone one or two nights at a time and then I'll give you a, you know you work you know Monday through Friday you know maybe three two days home or three days home every day uh, and then uh, weekends off unless needed it's gonna have to be somebody a it's gonna be a big trust thing and uh, gonna have to live close to me just because of that's pretty much where everything is based out of as far as where the cars are coming and going from so I don't want somebody that lives out of state it's just a thought you know I would um, I've, I've been thinking about adding another truck and uh, I kind of want to do things different this time because I don't want it to be somebody that's a friend to me because I want to keep this strictly business. Not that we can't be friendly and hang out, but I want it to be business first instead of, you know, the friendship first. And that's just how you got to be a boss sometimes. But anyways, I'd probably buy a new, 
not a new Dodge. I don't want a, a fifth gen. I'd probably buy a, you know, a low, low mileage fourth gen, fourth gen dually crew cab, um, and they can, you know, set their bed up and everything in it. But anyways, just a thought. Uh, we're strutting across here through the Poconos. Uh, Got to go to uh, State College, Pennsylvania, so about Central PA, and uh, we'll be there in about two and a half hours. Unload this Mercedes finally. I haven't hopped out to show you. It's a 2020 GLS 450. Um, we don't really know the specs on it, but this one's brand new. Dealer trade. Came from Manchester, New Hampshire. Retail sticker on this thing is $91,700. So, been on some pretty expensive cars here lately, which I'm not complaining because I've been getting compensated for it. I've just been naming my price uh, on these Mercedes and uh, the dealership just cuts me a check. So pretty happy for that. Told them I was going on vacation and they said they'd link up with me when I got back. So can't complain about that. You know, having uh, loyal customers in this business is, is very helpful. Um, especially ones that are, uh, you know, completely transparent. And I've had issues with uh, dealerships and whoever I'm dealing with at that dealership, usually like a sales manager is like a, on a power trip, which is funny because, you know, they don't know I worked in a dealership a for right um, seven years and I'm not really like, I know what your job is and I know how much money you probably make and it's not like you're the general manager of the, of the company. Like you don't have to act like you're big shit around me. Like I don't care. Just I. I don't know. I had a falling out with a dealership over the guy on a power trip and uh, just kind of left the sour taste in my mouth. And I had a problem recently with another dealership. Turn the right same guy, the not road. the same guy, the, the guy was trying to pull the same stuff. And I just kind of set the record straight to how I felt and told him he was more than welcome to go find somebody else. But good luck because it's not going to get done as quickly as what I've been getting it done. And course and he took back what he said but let's get this mercedes unloaded so we can get home and eat some steaks